Welcome back to Small Screen Detectives. It's being reported by supposed scoopers on the internet that Michael Keaton has signed on for three DC Comics projects. Now, we're not going to get into who's claiming that this is the case because there's no real way to verify what they are saying is true. These scoopers also like to hide behind the anonymity of the internet, so there's no real consequence for them if they turn out to be wrong. What are you? Unlike scoopers, we here at Small Screen put our real life names on our articles, and we tend to put our reputations on the line when we post exclusive articles with information from sources we have developed long standing working relationships with over the course of our careers. But that's enough about the scoop game. It's always a nice day with two scoops of raisins. We don't give a f about time limits for YouTube algorithms, so if you could like, subscribe, and quack that notification bell, that would help us continue to make these videos straight to the point. Right, let's talk about Michael Keaton and these reports that he's signed on to star in three DC Comics projects. This deal Keaton supposedly signed with Warner Brothers Pictures would be on top of the upcoming Flash movie and the Batgirl film. Well, we revealed a while back that Keaton had signed on to star in an upcoming series which would be based on the animated Batman Beyond series. That article's linked in the description below. This could be one of the DC projects that this scooper is referring to in their tweet. This would make sense, and it does seem as though that project is moving along nicely. However, what we will state is that it's looking like this DC comic series isn't going to be a straight adaptation of the Batman Beyond series. It's more likely to be inspired by the animated show and might actually feature Batgirl played by Leslie Grace in the upcoming HBO Max movie. Michael Keaton played Bruce Wayne in Tim Burton's 1989 Batman movie, which means this Batman Beyond film would be a continuation of Batman 1989. It would be very interesting to see because Batman Beyond sees the Joker return, and it would fit with the Tim Burton Batman universe. The Joker was killed in the first movie, and seeing him return would be a great way to get butts in the seats. Michael Keaton is starring in the upcoming Batgirl film, and it sounds like the movie will lead into a series on HBO Max. So it seems as though they're moving forward with this Batgirl Bruce Wayne series, and we're all for it here at Small Screen. But that's just us. Anyway, <laughs> enough about our balls. Are you looking forward to seeing Michael Keaton's Batman and Grace's Batgirl in an upcoming series together? Do you think Michael Keaton has signed on for three projects with DC Films? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, as we do read all of them. And as always, remember to like, subscribe, and quack that notification bell. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.